Now in this tutorial, we will understand a new PHP 7 operator called Null Coalescing Operator. This is a new feature added in PHP 7 to save your time and lines of code. You probably know in PHP, we check the value of the variable before using it. We simply call an if statement with isSet function to do that. For example, if I want to check the value of my submit button, then I would just add if statement for that. So I'm going to just create here a variable submit and then create if statement for that. And in this if statement in the expression, I'm going to call is set submit. And if the value of this submit button is set, I'm going to just echo set else. I'm going to just echo not set. So this is very simple, right? Now there is one more way you can do this and save five lines of code in one line. Let me just convert this if statement to ternary operator. So to convert it, I'm going to first call echo and then I'm going to say is set submit. And if the value of the submit is set, I'm going to echo set. Otherwise, I'm going to echo not set. So using this ternary operator, I've saved my five lines of code. Now in this statement, we always need to use is set or empty function to check the value of the variable. PHP added null coalescing operator as a new feature for the common case of needing to use the ternary in conjunction with is set. So let me just simplify this statement as well using null coalescing operator. This operator has very simple syntax. It has a statement, double question mark, and then it has a second statement. If we set the value for the first statement, then it will return the first statement. Otherwise, it returns the second statement. Now, if I want to simplify this statement, then I'm going to just add here echo, and then I'm going to say submit, and then I'm going to call the null coalescing operator, and just out of that, I'm going to say not set. That's it. So if we set the value of this submit button, it's going to return this submit button and echo it. Otherwise, it's going to return this not set value. Now you can notice this statement is easier than this ternary statement. Now you're not limited. This operator can also be chained just like this. If I create here another variable second and I'm going to just specify the value to it set. And if I want to just call here second and just call null coalescing operator denoted by double question mark then this also the value statement in php if we set the value of this submit button it's going to return the submit button value otherwise it will check for the second variable if we set the value of this second variable it's going to return that value otherwise it will return this not set value that's super easy right and if you try to create this statement using if and else this would something look like this now you can count how many lines of code you are saving now i hope this operator makes you more comfortable in php language if you like short videos like this make sure to subscribe and like this video that is all for now i will see you in the next one